Hi, just wrapped up the restoration of this Realistic Lab 1600 turntable. And as you can see, it's a front-loading uh, turntable with a linear tracking arm, and I was excited to get into this thing because I'd never worked on one of these. So here's a few highlights of the repairs and what it took to get this thing going and get it operational. So this thing had a lot of dings and scratches that I uh, had to take care of, but I also had uh, the clear plastic cover in the front uh, was broken. Fortunately, the pin was still there so I could repair it. But the reason that most of it had not functioned was because the power supply circuit board was broken in two. And as you can see, I repaired the traces here and then got it operational. Literally had to do some body work to straighten out the sheet metal on the cover. There were some pretty serious dings and scratches, but I managed to use some body putty, get it sanded, and then apply some silver paint, and it came out pretty decent. So after I replaced the platter belt, I found that it still wasn't running at the correct speed. So I needed to make some adjustments. And there are adjustment capabilities provided uh, through a couple openings underneath the tray. And what you need to do is extend that tray out. And, and as you can see here, I've got it elevated and extended so you can access those openings from underneath. So with the stroboscope going, I'll show you where those access points are. And you can get underneath there and make those adjustments. There's an adjustment for both the 33 and the 45 speeds. And just a note, as I recall, the service manual had you make the adjustments to the 45 speed first. So here's the original realistic cartridge. And as you can see, the stylus is missing. I was hoping that I would just be able to replace the stylus. Uh, but before I ordered a stylus, I did a quick check on the cartridge. And lo and behold, I had one of the channels open. So one channel looked like was working, the other channel was open, so I ended up just replacing the whole cartridge. And here's the cartridge that I bought. It was an Audio-Technica P-mount cartridge, and I got that installed, and it's working pretty good. The easiest way, and maybe the only way, to replace the cartridge is to uh, remove the metal cover from the turntable, and then you can access the cartridge and the mounting screw. So first of all, remove that mounting screw with the tone arm in the resting position. Uh, get that screw out of there, and then you'll be able to pull that cartridge straight forward. Uh, let me get my hands out of the way for you so you can see that. And here's the cartridge. So to install or replace a cartridge, just uh, simply reverse the procedure. Take the cartridge, get the pins aligned into the opening, and then push it in straight. It just kind of snaps in place. Put the screw on and you're back in business. There's already a lot of videos online about this turntable, but I wanted to cover the speed control adjustment and the cartridge replacement. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.